वेलकम बैक टू योर आईआईटीसी चैनल दिस इज वेद प्रकाश सिंह फ्रॉम आईआईटीसी फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी एडवांस वाटर मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ मेनी मॉड्यूल्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन एडवांस वाटर मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग एंड वी विल सी दैट वॉट टॉपिक्स एंड विच पॉइंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन इस मॉड्यूल सो दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड what value addition we are going to see during this session let us start with the session friends we are not going to discuss here the introduction part because this module is designed for the offline training program this is about me we will not discuss these are iitc profile what you can go later on on which we provide the services to the industry these are key competencies of our team guys my humble request for you is to subscribe the channel so that you can get uh, regular update on uh, our programs and please also put uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, click on the bell so that you can get the notification i will request you to please send uh, this presentation link to your professional friends who are having interest in advanced water management program friends module number 1 is water management here we are going to see that what does water management mean we will see why water management is important there are different issues and challenges for uh, water management worldwide we will see the severity i tell you i mean uh, water management is not a local concern now it has become a global concern and there are many issues when you will see it you will realize the severity of this point this is a very very hot point uh, and hot topics in coming 10 years tools and techniques for effective water management we will see that how we can do effective water management and what are various tools tackles and techniques are available module number 2 is regarding ground water management we will see specifically how to manage ground water and definitely we will see that uh, i mean uh, why it is important and how much reservoir we have worldwide and nation wise defining the ground water what do we really mean the ground water so when we will see the ground water you will come to know that and definitely importance of ground water management why we need to have a ground water management management versus governance what is the fine difference between management and governance probably you have the definition you know the definition but we will have more clarity here what is meaning of management and governance function of management there are different functions of management planning organizing leading and controlling these are very important function on which we are going to discuss and how this is going to help us in ground water management we will understand ground water management has got uh, various phases data collection capturing and monitoring then definitely planning for uh, the execution then uh, we are going for uh, data analysis and we will see the uh, protect part of uh, this uh, ground water management and definitely awareness module number 3 will discuss about ground water quality because ground water quality is a very ignored part i tell you i mean uh, since now i know the subject about the ground water about the ground water management about the water quality about the water quantity about the monitoring and measurement and data keeping i know but before knowing this subject i never cared let's say when i was in 12th standard i never cared what is the quality what is the water quality whatever the water i got i drank it so question is when you know more things you understand the vulnerability of the subject so we will see the introduction part and definitely what do we mean by water quality 
what is meant by water quality management and uh, definitely we see that why the need to manage the water quality this is very important hot points what we are going to discuss in this module we will see the salinations and we will see eutrophication we will see the micro pollutants which are available in the water microbiological pollutants which will be available or which are available or which are there in groundwater and erosion and sedimentation this is the very important point of this module i just want to focus your attention over here who is water quality being managed for why water quality is being managed and for whom an underlying principle of underground quality management and definitely we will see the risk assessment part i tell you before i knew this subject i never understand what is the meaning of risk assessment for this point how do aquifer becomes polluted their aquifers are there inside the ground and how it can get polluted groundwater pollution how is groundwater quality measured and monitored this is very important point what we need to understand protecting groundwater from pollution how you can protect groundwater from pollution from uh, urban pollution from, from rural pollution from industrial pollution we will see this is very i mean very interesting point what does groundwater pollution protection involve how i mean what are the elements for uh, groundwater pollution protection who should promote groundwater pollution protection government local authority industries civilian or i individual urban wastewater and groundwater quality we will see that what are difference between urban and urban wastewater and groundwater quality how does urban wastewater relate to the groundwater very important point we are living in the urbanized area and we are polluting the groundwater knowingly and unknowingly i am very sure when you understand how we are polluting definitely you will be alerted module number 4 we are going to discuss the groundwater quantity we will see that uh, groundwater occurrences and groundwater environment leakages and groundwater use then you understand how much quantity we have for our generation from our uh, uh, successor generation these points are related to module number 5 water audit silent features and it's a different element i have been personally and iitc has been personally involved in doing a water audit i am i have been involved doing more than 100 water audit worldwide and in india also so i would like to share my experiences in different topics what we are we have mentioned here in this module and uh, other than my experience i will also share what is uh, academics what do we mean by audit i am very sure when audit comes everybody is alerted and uh, i mean warned what do we mean by really meaning of water audit core elements of water audit there are various phases there are very element very elements we must know since we are working in the industry why to conduct water audit is it a cgw guideline or are there benefits of conducting a water audit i can tell you other than the regulatory requirement there are many 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 benefits of water audit you will come to know when we will run the session the scope of water audit definitely we will see that what are the scope of water audit initiative by different industries there are many industry they have taken proactive approach i can tell you there are very less industry who has got a reactive approach otherwise almost all industries in india and abroad who has got i mean a respect to groundwater they have proactive approach they have iso i mean environmental management system they have got uh, other management systems and they are giving good amount of concentration and uh, i mean work on the Uh, uh, initiatives there are different initiatives and we will see that how initiatives can help you as industry we will see many initiatives and you can also learn those initiatives and use those initiatives in your industry to save water to cut your production cost and uh, novel technology 
main objective of water audit why we do carry out water audit benefits as we mentioned that and steps of water audits module number six we will dedicate uh, this the different steps what we are going to see in water audit step one walk through survey when to do how to do why to do and who to who will do we will see it and you will really love it step two secondary data collection how do we collect all the data and how the data are going to help you and how to i mean do analysis that will come in the second step ne next step step three site water audit planning when we go at the site as a i mean auditor we need to do a planning before planning if you do it it will go west so what are the different elements available for planning and how planning can help you and how good planning can help you and how bad planning planning can create havoc step for conduct detailed water audit and measurement we will carry out literally a practical water audit and do a measurement of various flows velocity amount and uh, pump capacity pump performance measurement water i mean motor uh, capacity and many more preparation of water audit report with uh, 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 best i mean uh, uh, system and number 6 is a water audit report finalization and submission i can tell you i can not challenge you i cannot guarantee you but i am very sure when you go through this program you can become a water auditor i am very sure you can become water auditor you can do your water audit independently other than cgw legal requirement because cgw a has appointed some consultant who can who can go and do the i mean uh, audit in terms of uh, i mean unbiased report in in terms of i mean uh, i mean uh, i mean uh, to create uh, i mean uh, not conflicted report guys uh, we have got a youtube channel and as we discussed earlier this uh, you can uh, i mean if you wish can uh, subscribe and i would request you please subscribe it and press on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notification with this guy i thank you and let us see the different module